Today, I'm going to show you a wonderful trick which will reduce your workload significantly that you put on making presentations. Suppose this is the monthly sales numbers of IPR. So, let us, I have created a pivot table basis this. If you want to know how to make a pivot table, please check my channel. Now, this pivot table is created. I want to add this pivot table to my presentation. So, what I have to do is to just copy this and paste it on my presentation. You'll see there is an option called link to spreadsheet. Make sure you click on this option and click on paste. Now, your chart is dynamically created over here. You can format the chart however you want to and you will just have to refresh the data to reflect the next month's numbers. So suppose the next in the next month's data, the sales of TV has increased to 50,000. Now, if you see the pivot table, the TV sales has increased to 1,96,000. So now if I come to my PPT, you see the TV sales is still 146. So what I have to do is to click on this update to refresh this number. So if you click on this number next month, the TV sales will be updated. Similarly, suppose I want to create a chart and embed on, on my PPT. So I'll just create the chart quickly. Click on insert chart. Okay, so this is my chart where TV counts for 44% of the sales numbers. Now let me copy this. It's a simple control C, control V, keep it linked to spreadsheet and paste. So TV sales is 44.4%. Now, next month, you suppose the TV sales reduces to zero. Now, so TV sales has reduced to zero for the Eastern region. So the total TV sales has decreased to 37.4%. Now, if I come to my PPT, it still sees the 44.4%. So, what I have to do is to just click on update as I showed you. So, if I click on update, the latest TV sales has come in. So, one quick tip that I would like to give you is that when you create the pivot table next month or make sure that, that your your applicable range is properly selected. So here the pivot table is created on the, on the cells A1 to E16, which is this. So next month when you create it and if the number of rows increases, make sure you increase this area applicable for your pivot table for it to be dynamically coming correctly. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.